people. It's a factor of good people, mm -hmm. right? So we just need to find more amazing people to work for us. So if you're watching this, you need a job. Hit us up. Brad, what do you watch whenever you're taking a break from work? YouTube golf. It's supposed to be on my way to Chicago. <laughs> Sucks. I literally don't know how people go anywhere from Tulsa. You know? It's so dumb. Yep. Set up the tarmac a couple weeks ago for four hours. Today, flight's canceled. I thought it was just your beef with American Airlines, bro, but... Tried United. They suck too. United. <laughs> Because it's raining in Chicago. The planes land themselves these days, but it's raining in Chicago. Whole thing's chalked. This is how we cope. <laughs> just, yeah, it's too early, man. <laughs> Andy's plane took off. DFW doesn't have a problem with Chicago rain. Only Tulsa. I literally just don't understand. Makes no sense. Well, I just wanted to tap in on what you watch whenever you're not working. Yeah, now I feel guilty about not working. Right to jail, right away. Okay, so uh, due diligence started Monday, so we've got, what, 27 days left? And, and it's really dangerous to go and use lease abstracts, which is why I'm not a big fan of using them, because then nobody's looking at the actual lease and misinformation just gets passed down and down and down and down and down. But really what we're trying to do is, is create like a cheat note sheet for each one of these tenants. Brandon, what you up to today? What am I up to? Uh, just meetings, you know? Same shit, different day. <laughs> you said they're buying the dirt, but that doesn't make any sense in this example. They, if they lease the land, then they can probably get 100% uh, financing why they do it is because they have lower upfront costs is the main reason. Yeah. And whether it's lower upfront costs because they don't buy the land or lower upfront costs because they don't buy the land or the building. They're renting both. It's less even if you're having to pay for the building. It's less. Right? So a, right. a tenant that doesn't want any costs on their balance sheet is just doing a straight build to suit. A tenant that can afford a little bit but want to reduce it or help speed it up will lease the dirt and then handle their own construction. Yeah. But again, they've got to have the sophistication to be able to deal with the construction. So that's a different level of, yeah, of right. tenant. The other thing is it's a, a non, you know, it's significantly less taxable than a sale from the seller or developer or landlord's perspective. And then from the tenant's perspective, they can write off the rent where they can't depreciate a piece of land. Yeah, you need to make sure that's one of the points because that's big for corporations. So not only is it a cheaper way to, to open stores, so then they can get more stores open for the same dollars, but it also helps from a tax perspective because they write off 100% of their expenses uh, versus holding a bunch of land that, that is not depreciable. So then it's just cash sitting uh, that they can't they can't write off. Right. And so once yep. again, it's about it's about saving cash, and, but mainly about saving upfront cash and taxes. And should we talk about subordinated versus unsubordinated? Uh, you think that comes into play, or is everything pretty much subordinated against what? Uh, so that. Um, if you, so if the, the person that um, does the improvement, if they default on that improvement, subordinated or unsubordinated means whether you get the land back or not, doesn't it? I mean, if they, if they default on the loan, then the bank, if you're uh, subordinated, then the, the bank can also take the land, can't they? So you know, a disadvantage of a ground lease is typically there for longer periods of time, and even though you get some escalations, you don't really have control over the rent. And so let's say it's a ground lease on the outskirts of town, but, but development blows up. Now that piece of property is tripled in value, but you can't do anything about it because you've encumbered it with that ground lease. Do you play any games? No. No, I'm, I'm not a big gambler. I've gambled one time in my entire life. It was in Canada, and I bet $5 on a horse race. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. No, you gotta buy another $5 to put it back. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. You got 10. You gotta bet 10. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get 10. I have greater chances. You good. just keep doubling your bet. Eventually, you'll be good. <laughs> close on something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we closed on Callaway's. That's exciting. We actually closed on that today. That was cool. We'll close on Jacksonville in a week. Um, had lunch with a really cool guy yesterday. 
Um, just, you know, we all have these crazy ideas for a criterion. And we want to grow it into something crazy big. So we met with a guy who kind of led a crazy big company and they, and they sold and we just got to ask him for a ton of advice. That was really cool. Got us motivated, you know? People, it's a factor of good people, right? Mm -hmm. So we just need to find more amazing people to work for us. So if you're watching this, you need a job, hit us up. Only if you're amazing. Only if you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, amazing people only. I love it, man. Any any like personal lessons you took away from the week? Um, yeah, Oklahoma doesn't have enough stars. It's, that sucks. I get depressed looking up in the sky and not seeing stars. You know, just got back from Colorado for the weekend. You look up and there's stars everywhere. So I really wish there was more stars. <laughs> we got so much uh, hate mail on the YouTube short today. You know, like. Have you read all the comments? No, nah, yeah. talk about it, tons, bro. Tons, tons of hate mail. People are accusing us of being European because we uh, are not factoring in the cost of healthcare for like, and it just goes to show, right? Like you say, save $750 a month and people literally lose their shit. They're like, oh, how could you possibly save $750 a month? That's my car payment. It's like, yeah, I don't have a fucking car payment. You know, boom. What are we gonna do at 40 after we retire? And I'm like, I literally commented, whatever the hell you want. But people are so boring that they have no idea what to do at 40. They have literally no idea what to do at 40. They would, they would, they would die. And that's what I think happens to people in retirement, at least stateside, is they retire, they're like 65, they can't move their body, you know? And even if they are financially free, they're just like so unhealthy and old that they can't go do anything. Which is why I'm trying to do that at 40. So like, I can move my body enough to like actually go back to Colorado. You know, how many people in their 70s are like tearing up all these crazy vacations? Not that many. Not that many. I'm going to be one of those 70 year olds. You're going to be in Miami with spray tan, dog. Yeah.